Hello everybody, I'm here to show you another type of buttons for your Telegram bot. Basic button. What is a basic button? Why do we use it? And how to create basic button for your Telegram bot? Basic buttons are used for giving any kind of information from your users. You can see some basic buttons here. For example, I click on address. As you can see, when your customers click on address, they can see these contents like location, and a text so when they click on menu button they can see the content of this button for example give picture okay let's visit the panel after writing your information click on sign in click on bot buttons create basic button for example i write about us in this box you determine the place of your button for example it can be on a start menu or it can be the sub button of another basic buttons for example, I choose a start button. Here you determine that your button will be shown to your users or not. For access user group, you can set all or allowed groups. It means that you can add your special groups and only special groups can see this button. In this section, you can set all or registered users. When you set registered users, only registered users can see this button. The important point is that only basic button can have sub button. In this section, you write any contents you want for your button. First, you should determine the type of your content. For example, message. For example, for content, you should write a brief description about your company. This is a brief description for a Starbucks company. In this section, you can create sub button for your basic button. For example, for about us, I create location button. And this button can be normal button or inline button. I will explain inline button in another video later. Don't forget to click on add button content. For the other content, for example, I can choose a photo for content of my button. For content type, select photo. Okay, I upload a photo for my content. Or you can click on file management, click on files. If you have saved some photos for your files, you can use it here. And for this photo, you can write a caption and click on add button content. Moreover, for your content type, you can select on location and set your location. Finally, click on add button content. You can adjust the other things about your button here. Link preview. If you want to insert a link of a photo or video in your text, and also you want that the photo or the video will be displayed with the link, you can enable this option. In this section, you can change the size of your button. For example, large size or a small size. A small size is more appropriate. In this section, you can specify whether the button layout is automatic or not. If you enable this button, your users will hear a sound when they click on it. When you want to upload many photos, you can specify how many photos to display in each step. And also, you can set a time for your button. And if the button will be expired, your users can see it. When you click on select default submenus, you can see some buttons that we have created. And they are default button. And in left bar you can change the setting of them for example when you activate a store button you can see store in a left bar and you have the ability to change the setting of it this is the last section with drag and drop you can change the place of these buttons okay it's done click on save i want to show this a basic button in telegram let's open the telegram start your button write a slash start you can see this basic button about us i click on about us These are the contents that I've created. I will prepare much more tutorial videos in future. Thanks for your time.